guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am once again barefaced, which means I'm going to be doing another first impression for you. And the product we're going to be talking about today is the Moonshot Microfit Cushion. As you guys may or may not know, Moonshot is the YG Entertainment Cosmetics line. And the Microfit Cushion is one out of three cushions that they have in their range. What prompted me to test this out was my first impression on the Face Perfection Balm Cushion, which is the one advertised by Blackpink. And I, during that review or researching for that review, I discovered that this one is specifically targeted for normal to oily skin, while the Face Perfection Balm Cushion is for normal to dry skin. But seeing how much I enjoyed that cushion, even though I personally have very oily skin, um, really made me curious as to how this one performs. And you guys did request to see a review on this. So, so let's start by reading some claims. and. You you don't really get a whole lot of information from the Moonshot website. You actually have to click on the Face Perfection Balm Cushion to pull up this little chart that I'll insert right here for you so you could follow along with me where it's comparing both cushions. So it says that the Microfit Cushion is supposed to have a ultra light powder texture. It's supposed to be lightweight and refreshing, semi-matte, sheer, medium coverage, and it's supposed to be used for light touch-up makeup and normal to oily skin. Once you actually click on the Microfit Cushion under a product description, you see that it says ultra light Microfit Cushion, which expresses bright skin tone with anti-darkening formula. So it's supposed to be brightening, I guess. And then it has three bullet points that says skin fit effect, ultra light formula, layerable, and the three shades it comes in. I picked up shade 301, but according to the website, now I'm a little bit concerned because it seems like 301 has more of a pinky undertone, whereas 201 has more of a yellow undertone. But We'll see once we start applying it. This also has an SPF of 50 PA triple plus UV protection. So let's go ahead and zoom you guys in so that we could start the application. So this is what the compact itself looks like. It's very nice, very chic. I really do like the packaging. The only thing is that you'll get a whole bunch of like finger smudges, but we could live with that. And the puff it comes with is actually different from the Face Perfection Balm Cushion because that one, if you guys remember, was a little bit thicker, but uh, just an interesting observation. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this back. That actually does not look as bad. Uh, and this, once again, is more traditional. The Face Perfection Balm Cushion is more of that like tension, like, uh, dispense mechanism kind of a thing. So yeah, I'm going to apply it to this side of my face where I have a little scar so we could test out the coverage. All right, here we go. This has a very interesting scent. I was not expecting it to have a scent, but it's nothing like offensive. It's a very light scent, it's very clean, but I, I just wasn't expecting it to have a scent. I'm also content with the color. I was a tad bit concerned there, but it seems to be an accurate match and the coverage seems to be true to what it says on the website. So it is a sheer to medium coverage. I'll go ahead and try to build it up a, in a bit. I think that looks really nice. It does have a semi matte finish. It doesn't settle, it doesn't settle into pores or fine lines in any odd way. And as you guys know, I am going to avoid applying it underneath my eyes. I usually don't apply any cushions or foundations underneath my eyes because it tends to crease easily. What I will say is that this already doesn't adhere as well as the uh, Face Perfection Balm Cushion. It is not slipping and sliding, but it's 
kind of coming off. Like if I go over a certain area again, it'll come off. You see? Well, I don't know if you're good to see that, but. But this is actually something that a lot of cushions do, so it's nothing too concerning at the moment. Okay, so let's go ahead now and go over this little scar to see if it is layerable. Okay, so it is layerable, so it won't cake up and it is somewhat buildable in terms of coverage, but it'll stay being sheer to medium coverage. I don't know, I'm content with the coverage. So this is half of my face done. I really do like it so far. It does feel very, very lightweight. Um, as I mentioned, it doesn't adhere as well as the Face Perfection Balm Cushion, but we'll really see how it lasts throughout the day. So let me go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. So now it is 4.20 p.m. And this is what the cushion looks like so far. I will go ahead and say that it kind of has oxidized a slight Bit. In retrospect, I think I would have been more comfortable with shade 201 than with 301. I kind of feel like it's a little bit too dark for my personal liking and it does have more of a pinkish undertone even though I could kind of get away with going for both undertones. I'm more, I am somewhat yellow but I could also go for like neutral. I don't know, when I get color matched I get a whole different array of opinions as to what my undertones are but uh either way uh just wanted to point that out it still looks pretty good on the skin and even though we're two hours in it has started to kind of break up on my nose which is very very odd remember when i said that it doesn't adhere as well to the skin as the balm cushion does um so it has started to kind of move and shift on my nose if you could see there and here's what it's looking like so far. I kind of feel like I'm not as pleased with the finish as I was with the balm cushion. If you could hear snoring in the background, that is my cat snoring, okay? Um, let me go ahead and turn off my studio lights. And here's what it looks like in natural light. So it is 8.41, we are 19 minutes shy of seven hours worth of wear and this is what the cushion looks like. Not only do I look very oily, but I feel incredibly oily. So let me go ahead and blot and we'll come back to discuss some pros and things to note. And now we're back, but before we move on, a viewer left me a very, very interesting request during the face perfection balm cushion review. And that was if the refills for these two were interchangeable. So let's go ahead and test them out. I already popped them out and I'm going to put the microfit cushion inside the balm cushion cartridge thingy. Well, let me use this to press it down. Okay, so there we go. It snapped right in. So if you already own one of the cushions, you can just purchase the refills to the other cushions and reuse the compact. So thank you so much to the viewer who left that request and question. This was incredibly, incredibly helpful. So now let's move on to some pros and things to note, starting off with pros. I really do think that this is a very lightweight cushion. I dare say more lightweight than the balm cushion. It feels very, very nice on the skin and you could barely notice it's there. I also really do like the semi-matte finish even though I enjoy the finish of the balm cushion more. It's a little bit more natural, a little bit more hydrating. Um, I could still really appreciate a good semi-matte finish. I also really like the sheer to medium coverage. It is buildable, it is layerable. Um, as you guys may know, I or my preferred coverage is light to medium, so this falls within that category. So yeah. Now moving on to things to note. Ha! Okay. 
where do I start? So at the top of my list is that this cushion seems to shift and fade kind of quickly and progressively throughout the day, even though I think that you can maybe fix that with a better primer. So a primer that's a little bit more tacky in consistency and is going to really grip onto your skin and onto the foundation. I have not tried that yet, so I will maybe give you guys an update in the near future. And since it shifts and fades, that means that it's not really long wearing, even though it never claimed to be. I think that this is one of these cushions that you're supposed to touch up throughout the day. I'm usually not a big fan of that, but it is an option. And another thing I'd like to point out to all of my dry skinned gals out there is that this is probably prone to clinging on to dry patches because even though I don't really have that many going on, I do have the scar here and it has started to bunch up in that area as well as crack and settle into fine lines. So that's the thing with this cushion since it does have a semi-matte finish. Just something to take note of. So my final verdict on this cushion is that I kind of don't love it and I don't really hate it. I do kind of obviously prefer the Face Perfection Balm Cushion, but that is really up to preference. I prefer a more natural, more radiant, youthful look. But if you are on the oilier side and you prefer a more semi-matte, drier finish, then maybe this is the better option for you. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and found it somewhat helpful. Like always, all of my links will be down below so that we can stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button if you do want to be notified when I immediately upload. I was told by one of my subscribers that you weren't receiving notifications of my posts, so if you want to be notified immediately, you could do that. You don't have to, but I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by and until next time. Bye.